Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I transform this short bitten nails into a beautiful set of extensions. So as you can see on the screen, this client has really tiny nail bed and I transfer that into this extensions. So I'm going to show you how I did this. So let's begin with the video. Like I mentioned in all my other videos, our first step is to push back the cuticle. Even though our nail plate was really tiny, so as you can see I have pushed back a little bit of skin uh, around the cuticle area and already the nail bed is a little bigger than what it was in the first clip. So um, as I mentioned, we are starting with pushing back the cuticle. This is just to open up that skin around the cuticle area and then I am going to move on to my electric file. So I am using a blue abrasive mark flame bit to do my dry manicure. My e-file is at 16,000 rpm for the dry manicure, if required I'll increase to 18,000 and uh, since uh, uh, actually this was the first time this client was doing an extension on her fingers and uh, because of that there was a lot of dead skin and cuticle skin around the nail plate area so I was carefully removing everything and I was making my canvas ready for the extensions. So once uh, the dry manicure is done I'm going to do a small uh, cuticle trimming so especially when we are using e-file that's when the trimming part really matters if you're doing like a regular uh, you know hand file dry manicure then at that state uh, you don't have to really trim the nail unless it's like too much dry skin around the epinikim area but when you do the dry manicure this is a mandatory step because we lift up that skin and we will have like a dry white dead skin around the epinikim area so after trimming the cuticle area I used a lint free wipe and alcohol to clean clean up her nail plate and now this is ready for our extension so before the extension first I'm going to use a dehydrator to uh, remove any remaining oil uh, moisture from her nail plate and after that I'll be adding a little bit of acid free primer and remember when you apply the primer you only put a very little do not put too much primer because that is again another reason uh, for the extensions lifting so be careful with that After applying the primer, I prepped the foam and I applied the foam onto her nails and for such uh, twisted short bitten nails, in my opinion foams are the best solution because tips you can't really attach the tips and it will mostly cover the entire nail plate. So foams can give you a good way to sculpt the nails as you can see I fitted the foam and I'm going to start with the free edge application and another thing when we are doing such kind of small bitten nail transfer transformation I recommend not to go for like a really long extensions always start with a uh, small nail extensions and eventually when their natural nail starts to grow out underneath the extensions then eventually you can move on to the uh, longer nails and number one reason obviously we don't have enough uh, you know nail bed to support the length number two the client is already used to having really tiny short bitten nails so he or she might uh, you know uh, end up hurting themselves so always keep small length and eventually you can keep on uh, you know increasing the length and the client will also get used to it um, so here I am doing a free edge application and we did a square nail but then after recording everything when I was going through the pictures and videos I thought I should have gone for like an almond shape as you can see even though the nails are really tiny but her nail plate is quite wide right it's not like really tiny or small uh, width but uh, has a pretty decent width so uh, later I thought I should have gone for an almond shape but anyways it was first time so uh, uh, this kind of extreme transformation this was first time for me as well I have done bitter nail transformation before but not this extreme so it was for kind of a first time for both of us the client and me but I think end of the day we did a good job so I finished applying I did a two bead application because obviously the nail length is small and uh, I got like a really nice application here and now we finish all the fingers and we do the filing and shaping I wanted to show you the index finger as well uh, now if you see 
there is a small gap between the foam and the uh, nail bed here so that is okay in such nails uh, just remember when we are picking up the acrylic bead make sure that it's not very runny it has like a clay like texture so that it doesn't fall through that gap and at the same time you can build up the architecture and everything and in this finger I also tried uh, to sculpt the nails from the cuticle to the free edge normally what I do is I start building the free edge and then I move on to the cuticle area but in this particular finger I tried a different way I started from the cuticle and then using that one single bead I'm building up the length and this I'm doing because like I said uh, I'm not building a too long of a nail I'm doing a small length nail so this I can do uh, but if you're good with like uh, one bead application technique and obviously you can do that in any kind of nail but uh, since it's a small bitten nail I uh, I tried a in a different way and this is how I did the index finger nail. Now we have success successfully completed all the five fingers and it's time for us to remove the forms so uh, as you know to remove the form you can just open those flaps and then pinch underneath the free edge area and the forms will come off easily and make sure that your acrylic is completely dry before you pull off the form and uh, this is how our uh, pre-filed or ready to file nails looks like so uh, I think uh, I did a pretty good job in applying the acrylic it doesn't need much filing but let's do the filing and shaping for the filing and shaping I am using a 180 grit hand file so I start from the side wall just like that I do a rough filing around the side wall and the free edge area and then I start with the surface uh, area filing and once I'm done with the hand filing I move on to a buffer just to make sure that the surface is uh, you know smooth for the gel polish application After completing the filing, shaping and buffing, you can use your lint free wipe and alcohol to clean the nail plate. You can also ask the client to wash their hands at this point. Just with water, you don't have to apply soap or hand wash or anything. Just clean the nail plate and then you are ready for the gel manicure. So for the gel manicure, I'm using Canny's Macron series. So this is a beautiful polish and I like this particular brand also. Uh, so now this is the spring season plus Easter is also around the corner. So I thought why not go for a pastel color and blue is one of my favorite colors and even the client uh, liked that pastel blue. So we decided to go with this pastel blue uh, shade for her manicure. After applying the manicure, we decided to add a little bit of, uh, you know, flakies to it so I selected a contrast blue in fact a dark a shiny blue color flakies uh, and created kind of an ombre effect and my client was super happy I think this was the first time she ever had uh, that long nails technically it's not long but for her it was long and she was super happy and I was also very happy because I got to uh, transfer that nail and it took me one and a half hour to finish that one hand uh, but it was totally worth um, 
so if you guys have any questions please do let me know and if you also would like to see any particular kind of extension videos let me know i have many videos uh, posted on my channel polygel application uh, builder gel application acrylic application i personally love acrylic extension so most of my extension videos are on acrylic but if you want to see any particular videos on any particular extension product let me know uh, with that i think i'm going to summarize the video to, uh, here and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy and also don't forget to subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye